Dog. Good, I'm good. Let me tell you something right now. I do a show, and you're probably the one of the most requested niggas by far, by far, my brother, by far, man. Happy New Year to you, first of all, brother. First off, man. Appreciate it, appreciate it, man. Happy New Year to you and your people. Man. Absolutely, man. Absolutely, man. Maybe let's go ahead first, brother. Can you describe your 2023? My 2023? Yes, sir. Describe my 2023. Um, uh, yeah, good. that's a good, that's a good. I can't say I'm um, not happy with it, but I'm definitely not happy with it. If that makes sense, you feel me? Like, okay, I kind of feel like after me getting getting champion and all that good shit, I should have had a I should have had a more lit year. You know what I'm saying? I should have had um, some place lined up. Wow. All right. So is it the plates or the battles? Because if I look at your resume here, you had a classic little Mac. You and Jazz got busy. You and Ace Me set off. Um, I think with Summer Madness, y'all set it off lovely. So yeah, yeah. you and Torque was probably the best two on two. You know what I mean? You had a fire yeah, yeah, yeah. one liner with Drake Dennis, Young Grizz, Aqua, CJ8. So to me as a fan of Rum Lady, I'm looking like you had a fire year, but you're the battle rapper, so you know better than me. Yeah, I, I don't think it was a bad year. I just feel like it's similar to a lot of my years. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I feel like I have a, um, a couple years where I did the... the um, the giving shots and we had good, good, good matchups. And, you know, I had a few big stages, but, you know, I just feel like it's time for me to get them, you know, them God tears them goat tears that the fans want to see me against. And obviously Loaded Lux will be the first person that comes to mind. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 man. That's definitely <laughs> happening. So where we at with that? Maybe you can give the folks, the, folk, the uh, fans, your fans. The we are we at this, uh, the same spot it was. It's happening this year. It's going to be, it's going to happen in uh, the next couple months. Hmm. Next couple of put a date on it, but you know what I'm saying? What we said on that stage was, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. With no play. Right. So for you, you're, you're you're the kind of guy, right? That I look at like this as old head. You're the one that comes to battle. You're the one that gives us replay value battles. My nigga, your lyrics are, I don't know how you come up with the shit you say sometimes. We'll get into that in a minute, though. But the promo that you, you did for Lux, though, what made you decide to go in that bad? Because usually you don't be going that bad. You fall back in this rap. You just here for the raps, right? Right. Um, like I've been saying, uh, man, y'all could thank y'all could thank Ace for that. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Man, Ace kind of he kind of opened my eyes to a new way to promo. You feel me? I'm not really with the WWF shit, the fake beef and the, all that rah rah shit. I'm not really, I'm not really with that. I'm not cool with that. Mm. Not like I'm just just some some killer gangster. Right, right. I just don't like it. It's just right. you know what I'm saying. I feel like it's it's no need for it. So when Ace opened my eyes to the new, you know, it's just like a new style of promo, I'm like, you know, I can get down with this. And I feel like I might be good at it. You feel me? So I just, I, I took it and ran with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What the reception, what's the reception that you got though? Cause when I saw it, people were like, yo, three, Nitty really is funny as fuck though. You had the beans <laughs> and the shit you were saying and everything like that. You I mean, what's crazy is that was tripping me out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody think they funny or everybody think they talented or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be. So. So when you get the um the reaction that you was uh, hoping for or better it, it tripped it tripped me out i ain't gonna lie and it motivated me like you know what i i need to do this some more you feel me right, right. absolutely absolutely was it weird for you to do it though lady because you're not the person to do shit like that was it weird for you um nah i'm not gonna lie it wasn't that's why i said you know i can do this because i felt right. like the other the other aspect was weird for me mm -hmm. when i'm getting on there arguing and talking fake shit, that was weird for me i didn't feel comfortable you feel mm -hmm. me? So doing this, I'm like, nah, this don't feel weird. It don't feel forced. And I don't feel like when I put it out to the fans, I feel like they don't look at it like, yo, Nitty's trying to force it. I feel like they re they received it how I wanted them to. You know what I'm saying? Opposed to when I do the arguing shit and I'm on there talking shit, they might be like, yeah, Nitty's trying to force this. Shit. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Right. Well, let me ask you a question, because everyone says you have the raps. One thing about Nitty, he has the raps. Did it ever bother you when people ask, when you stress so much about why Nitty doesn't do promo like that? Well, you never give a um, shit at first it didn't at first it didn't after a while it did you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. because when, um it's not that it bothered me but you know what i'm saying i had to i'm like you know i i, I gotta take this into consideration like damn it, this might be a problem again you know what i'm saying <laughs> right. but at first i'm like nah i'm getting my bags i'm getting the matchups you know what i'm saying i'm i'm still relevant i'm hot you know what i'm saying so no it wasn't it wasn't even a thing on my mind at first mm. 
Now, you're a rapper's rapper. Do you and Lux, though? Obviously, does that should that be in a small room? Is that what we're looking at? Yeah, me and Lux, I feel like if if we're looking for the best turnout for the culture, as far as a classic and, you know what I'm saying, a battle that's going to live for a live on forever, then yes, yes, a small room is definitely going to take it to those heights. But if we talk about, you know, getting the money and getting the bag and, you know, the views and all that good shit, then, you know, yeah, the big stage. But me, I'm not opposed to any of them, but I definitely want the, the small room. How hyped are you for this one, Nitty? Oh, man, I, I just tweeted the other day. This is going to be the best performance y'all seen from me thus far. Oh, so that tweet was for Luxon, obviously, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be the best performance. When I saw that, I was like, okay, who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm not playing. I'm not battling nobody to our battle Lux. Oh, you on that type of time, Nitty? Yeah, yeah, I'm sitting down. I ain't battling nobody. Bro, I can imagine the stuff you got in your brain that you want to say to, to Lux, though, man. Man, I can imagine the stuff you want to say though. <laughs> yeah, like I'm really motivated to rap. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I haven't had this feeling in a minute. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel I'm always I'm always a student of the game. I'm always like I always love to rap, but like as far as create uh um, new moments and you know just elevate myself. I haven't been motivated to be like, you know what? I wanna, you know, I wanna get better. I wanna do this, you know what I'm saying? I was just, you know, been kind of coasting. So now I feel like it's time to show, show the naysayers that I am the greatest. Nitty, all right. So I recap battles, right? And the thing about you is when you got to sit there and write down the bars on paper that you say, and you read this shit as a blogger. If I read this shit that you say on paper, write your raps. Right, I'll right. be pleased at some of the shit you say. So I say to say this, if you're saying you're not motivated, and I'm watching the shit that you say against Ilmac and the shit that you say against CGA and all CJ and all that. What the fuck can you say when you motivated? Cause you be saying some five mic lyrics and shit. Your bars be out the world, my nigga. So you're not motivated. So the motivated nitty must be some next shit, dog. Yeah, definitely. It gotta be. It mm -hmm. gotta be. Mm -hmm. And it's not even that that, that I feel like the, my bars is always gonna be somewhat up to par. But, you know, sometimes the performance or just the energy that goes into it or just, you know, the promotion behind it, everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All that comes into play. You feel me? And sometimes I don't be motivated to do all that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. How concerned are you? Are you concerned at all that Lux might want to get his get back because he lost to your brother Geechee Gotti, right? He lost to Geechee. So y'all are twins almost in battle rap almost, right? So the get back for you, you know what I'm saying? How concerned are you about that? Or you don't concern about shit like that? You just do what you do. Nah, 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 but I'm using that as motivation. I know he won his leg back. You know what I'm saying? I know he ready. So me, I'm like, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a competitor at the end of the day, so I want the best version of Lux anyway. Mm -hmm. So him coming off an L like that, this is definitely going to be the best version of Lux. And I feel like um, he's he's uh, he's finding a way to um, conform his style to the new era. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's getting closer and closer. So this might be it. We might Lux might come in here sounding like you know what I'm saying a 2024 Lux opposed to sounding like a 2024. I mean a, a 2004 Lux. You feel me? Mm. I mean, it's, it's funny you said that, right? You said uh, Lux has found a formula. I feel Mook has found a formula now more than Lux now. How do you feel about that? You, you're a battle rapper. Can you educate me? Am I right on my side? Yeah, well, yeah, it's Luke. kind of it's kind of um, obvious. You know, Mook has been outside more. Right, 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 you know right, right. So um, I feel like every time Mook battles, he gets closer to the formula that we that we display today. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I feel like if Lux was outside as as much as Mook was, then he would definitely be on the same path. But I would say Mook is definitely finding the formula. Mm. Uh, when you when you put a tweet out there, who y'all want to see me battle next? If it ain't Lux. You know that kind of that kind of everybody. Hey, hey, man, we got to keep hey, we got to keep the cages rattled. We got to keep the cages rattled. We got to keep the intention. We got to keep the attention on us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, once people get what they want, they they tend to go back to their regularly scheduled programs and stop tweeting and stop. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we want to keep you tweeting. We want to keep you talking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we want to keep them antennas up. Mm -hmm. So when Easy tweeted you, um, when you come to the trenches. What was your initial thought when you saw that tweet? When he said that to you? Um. Man, I can go anywhere, man. I can go anywhere. That's why. I, that's why I made the tweet. Some people took it wrong when I said they were, I'm loyal, but I'm not stupid. Right. You know what, I'm saying? And, and what I meant when I said that is, you know, what I'm saying, of course, I'm loyal to URL. That's why. 
I would I would like to reside at. That's where I want to battle at. But I'm not mm -hmm. stupid to the point where I'm gonna be turning down money to where I can take down my take care of my family with. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And I feel like they we have an understand understand it. They know that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now, I'm not I'm not out here trying to be on the opposition stages for you know for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to going to turn down money I can take that take care of my family with. You feel me? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, yeah, oh. Every, all money not good money, but if it makes sense then I would be an idiot to turn it down. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's how, that's what I was saying with that, that tweet. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm loyal, but I'm not stupid to the point where I'm going to put myself in a hole, pause, mm. just because I want to, you know what I'm saying, right. be loyal. Because I got to be loyal to these kids more than anybody. You understand Absolutely, that? my brother. Absolutely, my brother. Absolutely to the kids, man. That's not even a um, no joke about that. Um, the alien name. When did, that, when did you start? When did that name start coming up? Um, uh, about the aliens and how do you feel about crazy the is, um, like the past few interviews i've been uh doing they've been asking and i'm like damn i really don't know <laughs> and i thought i did like i'm like damn, damn. i really believe the fans just kind of ran with it and it, it, it kind of stuck it was just like he an alien like he you know what I'm saying? I, I, it probably came from the god tier you know what i'm saying like he's i guess they were saying i was past god tier or whatever i don't know but they was like, yo, this nigga, out of, he's out of this world. He's an alien. And I just I just ran with it. Because first, I'm not going to lie, I was trying to run with Cuz Webb. That was uh, kind of like my, my alias. Uh, but the alien stuck harder than that. Pause. I'm like, so fuck it. That's what we running with. The alien. So shout out to the fans. I really don't know. Right, right. Yo, how do you feel about it, though, my nigga? Be called an alien, my nigga, in rap. Niggas call you an alien. Think about that, nigga. Niggas call you an alien, fam. When you rap, when you write your rap, and you give it to us, and we got to digest the shit that Rumbley said on stage, and we listening with these two ears, and niggas is sitting there like an amazement, like, and that's the alien thought. Like, how do you feel about that? As, as nah, that shit crazy. Like, that's the utmost respect, and 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 it for it to come for it to come from my peers as well, not just the fans. The peers is my peers as well. Is it's crazy to me. I'm not gonna lie. It's crazy, and it's like a good and a bad thing because it puts pressure on me. When I gotta write again, I'm like, I gotta, I gotta be the alien. I can't just right. say anything. You feel me? But you know, it keeps me, it keeps me sharp. Wow. And go back to your peers right quick. I mean, it's one thing for the fans, right? For all of us to show you love, and we appreciate what you bring to the table. But for your peers to also know that you're one of those guys, that's gotta yeah. be something also that the fans and your peers know what it is with you. Yeah. Um, that's a surreal feeling. I'm not gonna lie. It's almost like um, I don't know. Like like I'm saying it. Like it puts, it gives me motivation and it puts pressure on me. You feel me? But good pressure to like right. you know what I'm saying. Stay sharp. You know what I'm saying? Especially when your peers is looking at you like you that nigga. Like damn. You know what I'm saying? I know you finna go crazy today. I know you got them whoopy wop or, or nigga hit my line like oh, I know your bars ready. My bars might not even be ready. Right. But he right. called. I'm like you. Know, you know what? Let me get on my shit. Cause niggas look at me at a certain stature, so I gotta keep myself here. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, are you almost teetering to where nobody should battle you at the crib? Um, it's looking like that, nitty. Like you <laughs> should not battle you at the crib, fam. I'm not gonna lie. That last my last um, performance against uh, what was it um, Wade? Kiss Wade. Shout out Kiss Wade. Um, nitty, I'm not gonna lie. They, 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 hey, the crib turned up for me. They will let you finish your raps. You can you wouldn't even finish Yeah, um, that surprised me. That surprised me. I'm not gonna lie, that, that surprised me. How? I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Because first of all, battle rap hasn't been like Arizona hasn't been, you know what I'm saying, uh, a, a big market for battle rap that long. You know what I'm saying we now we starting to turn up. We starting right. to have more fans and shit out this motherfucker. But you know what I'm saying? I remember I battled Arno out here 2013. Of course, my name wasn't what it is now, but like they said his slogan louder than mine. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, y'all, what the fuck? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, time change. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. Because awesome. awesome. even, even the uh the bill collector battle, that was a I was a dope battle, but he got love in this motherfucker. Like he, you know what I'm saying? Like, not like he wasn't supposed to, but I'm like, damn. Mm -hmm. They were supposed to roar for me kind of in this bitch. You feel me? And they didn't. So when I got the, the roar this time, so I'm like, okay, okay, I was a little surprised. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. How you feel about your Ilmac battle? Um, I'm happy with it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people fail to realize is, you know what I'm saying? Niggas be niggas be gunning for me, gang. Niggas be gunning for me. That was them, them that's four years worth of material. 
and I still made it debatable, and I feel like I won still. You feel me? And he told me this out of his mouth. Right. He said, "Yo, I've been writing shit for you since A War," and he was like, "Yo, that was four years ago." I'm like, "Yo, gang, I'm, I've been writing for you for three, four days." You feel me? So a motherfucker can't kill me four years of material. Yeah, I'm that nigga. I feel great about it. Right. And I feel like uh, um, I might have uh, um, opened up a new level in that third. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was angling. I, I almost, I was counterwriting a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, be on the lookout, y'all. Punches, angles, counterwriting, all that. Mm. Do you feel you birthed a lot of, uh, this generation of rappers, do you feel you birthed a lot of people? Um... I know that goes back to that goes back to um me getting like certain shit from my peers. I feel like my peers say that. The culture says that. Mm -hmm. I, you know what I'm saying, me kind of being out of the out of the loop a little bit, I would say, I mean, y'all you, you, you can be humble all you want, my nigga. That's cool to be humble and shit. As a person who's been in for a long time covering battle rap, who's watching shit and watches battles heavy, you have my nigga. You birthed a lot, you and twerk. Birthed a lot of niggas, bro. Y'all did. Bro. Yeah, like I get I get tweeted daily, like yo, Wooty Wap sound like you. This this dude sound like you. This man sound like you. And you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I click on him, I'm like, no, he don't. He but, do, you know man. Saying? He it's does. Like, Lady, these niggas sound like you, bro. Like, how do you think <laughs> sound like you? <laughs> they sound like you, Lady. I'm trying to yeah, tell man. you, man. Lady, listen to me. One I thing, one thing I can't say I did do, or that I know I felt like I did, is 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 I kept punch lines alive. Like when they when they when they was trying to say, oh, it's all about performance, it's all about believability, it's all about this and that and this and that. I'm like, nigga, I can just punch and and and, and still get by. They like, nah, you can't do that no more. Not on these big stages. Not with this. Not with that. I feel like I kept that shit alive. So I feel like some of the uh, the battlers that was starting to uh, uh, find their way into the game, they was like, you know what? I can just punch if I want to. Not necessarily I got to use style, but I can just punch if I want to, or I can right. just be me if I want to. I don't have to conform to their style. You know right. So I feel like I did do. Mm. Definitely feel like I did that. Mm. You know, it's funny though. So when I go to the barbershop, right? Everyone knows I cover battle rap. When your name gets mentioned or niggas is watching battles on the TV screen and they watching your shit, it's like a general consensus. Bro, this nigga fucking fire. I'm talking about general consensus. Like, seven niggas is like, nitty, 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 nitty. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I don't know what the, what's in your pen, my nigga, but you are definitely that dude. Um, The two on two with Twerk, how fun was that? Man, I'm not going to lie. That was that was fun as hell. To me and Twerk, hella similar, you feel me? So, like, I, we overwrote. We overwrote material. Like, we had to cut so much shit out, and we didn't know that we overwrote until the day of the battle. Like, I'm talking about Uber on the way type shit. We like, hey, let's spit this first round real quick and time it. We spit the first round. We get to like 60% of the round. I look down at the clock. This bitch say 13 minutes. I'm like, gang, this is a, this is a dilemma. We can't, we, can't, we can't pull up with this. Yeah, so we topped that whole first round. But nah, um, that, was, that was motivating. That was, that was dope. Like, some of the material we can't. I, I can still go pull from that bag right now. Right now, I can go. Yeah, I can go pull material from that bag right now if I wanted to. There's so much jewels and bars in there that we, you know what I'm saying, we came up with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit was dope. I ain't gonna lie, that shit was dope. Um, the time, the time limit with foot. How you feel about that? And the battle hasn't dropped. How you feel about that? Also, two part question. Um, man. Uh oh. I definitely, you know me. I'm a humble nigga. I know you are. And I'm a humble nigga. Uh. I, I I could take an L, you know what I'm saying. I, uh, everybody loses. You feel me? I'm not I'm not scared to lose. I'm not scared of none of that shit. But you know what I'm saying. The shit got to be done the right way. You feel me? Certain shit is just you know. And I be gonna lie. After the battle, I was still I took it as like a regular L. Like fuck it, it is what it is. Niggas gonna overwrite for you. But when bro showed me his contract and showed me he had that full three minutes, I'm like, hold up. I'm going to go look back at mine. I'm like, I could have swore my shit was 90 second hard cutoff type shit. So I'm like, hold up. I knew I'm not tripping. So when I reevaluated the situation, I'm not going to lie, I felt some type of way. Mm. Not to say that it was done purposely, but you know what I'm saying? I just feel like a person of my stature shouldn't be in those situations like that. Agree. Agree. So I obviously had a private conversations and behind the, closed, behind the scenes, 
Everything no, yeah, yeah, it's all, it's all love. We good. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just, you know, as as a as a man, you know what I'm saying? Fuck a battler. As a man, you know what I'm saying? You gotta speak up. You gotta speak up on certain shit. Right, certain right, shit you don't right. let fly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that I'm just I'm like, nah, that that was that was kind of cold. Hold up. I gotta, you know, I gotta speak up on it. Cause I know certain people was like, damn, this nigga nitty put his contract up. He must be mad. It's not even that I'm mad. I'm just nah, bro. Something certain shit I gotta speak on. Yes. I yes. can't be silent on everything, gang. You know what I'm saying? Person, like you said, a person of your stature and how you right. look at your culture, like, yeah, my nigga. Like, yeah. Like, you feel me? You want the battle to come out? Maybe? Yeah, I, I said I wasn't uh, 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 against the battle coming out. The only thing I ask is just don't put the L on my record because that's like, that ain't fair. You feel me? But outside of that, bro did his shit. I mm-hmm. don't feel like he should not get his shine because he went crazy, mm-hmm. which is a good look for him. So I never said I don't want the battle to get put out. It's just motherfuckers need to know what's what's going on. Why do you give shots? Niggas gave me shots. Mm. Oh shit, I wouldn't have been who I am if niggas ain't giving me shots. You and then one. shit, it's not like I'm just like don't let me lie. Sometimes I, I will take the check, but like you know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm just <laughs> battling anybody most of the time. You feel me? Right. Most of these these people are formidable opponents that deserve shots, that need to get heard. And 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 uh, and a lot of the niggas that's in the, the position to do it are scared. It's like uh 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 high risk, low reward. You know what I'm saying? I ain't you know, I ain't worried about none of that. You know, I'm a dog at the end of the day. Yes, you are. How many how how many of them say thank you after the battle? <laughs> the ones you give a shot to. <laughs> Shit, they probably damn all of them. <laughs> and, 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 and to keep it real, that's that's love. You feel me? And, and they, they thank me by going the fuck off in the battle. Like you going crazy? Oh yeah, you took this opportunity serious. That's a thank you. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? You took right. this serious. You know what I'm saying? So that's love to me. You feel me? You get a call. You get a call saying, "All right, brother, we got lady for you, my nigga. We got lady for you. <laughs> Boy, you better gear up, nigga. You better lace up, nigga." <laughs> yeah, man, they be laced up for me. You know what I'm saying? I bring them. I bring them back. I bring them back from the dead. Mm. What What do you like about I Battle? I see you over there, Danny Myers, Tay Rock over there. Right, first of all, man, first of all, I battle does great business. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, it's uh, what 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 the, which I'll agree upon will get worked out one way or the other. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Sec, uh, uh, second of all, um, Bex is my brother. We homies. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So anytime a homie need, you know what I'm saying, work, we there. You know what I'm saying? And that's mm-hmm. how I get I, I, I get down with my brothers. If 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 the riot need need work, I'm sliding. DT, my brother, you feel me? And that's the same that's the same way I look at uh, Lex with it, what I about him, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? They need a dog over there, I'm on the way, man. I got you, you feel me? But outside of that, nah, they do great business. Um, they got dope talent over there that 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 needs to be heard. The oppas, the, you know what I'm saying, the uh, uh, the yeah, units, the all that. You know, there's, there's some dope niggas over there. Niggas. Cream in the yeah, niggas. yeah. Facts. Mm-hmm. Preem, Preem's crazy. That nigga Preem crazy. Danny, yo, Nitty, him and Danny was, that was the, uh, uh, um, damn, it's a young, but I think he, I don't want to say St. Louis is a young brother from there. He got like the box, the box, uh, uh, flat top. I forgot his name. I'm mad as hell. He fired as hell. I'm mad as fuck. I can't remember his name right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, but he cold. He cold though, man. Y'all check out our battle, man. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a lot of talent over there that y'all going to, it's going to surprise y'all. It's going to surprise mm-hmm. y'all. Okay. Um, you and Tay Rock. How you feel about that battle? Oh man, we gotta run that back. I feel, I feel, I feel <laughs> that way. I feel that though. I yeah, man, like... I feel like we, both of us. You feel me? Like, cause I wasn't on my shit. That wasn't regular tape rock neither. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We shorted the fans, man. Yeah, I'm glad you said that, Nitty. <laughs> we shorted the fans, man. I'm gonna keep it a buck, man. We shorted. Listen, the fans. let's be honest. You calm, you calm down the feistiness though. You calm down the feistiness though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lot, Hell yeah. And then I don't even feel like I was extra trying to be gangster. I just didn't, I didn't know how to be a battle rapper, gang. I ain't gonna lie. Certain shit I just didn't know was part of battle rap. I'm like, damn, is this nigga testing me? Is you he still the streets? You want the streets to the battle rap? We, we understand. You know what I'm so I'm like, damn, uh, is he is he trying to, you know what I'm saying? Right. right. So I, didn't, I, I didn't know. Like, I ain't gonna right. lie. Have you had a conversation about running the back? You and Tay Rock, though? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Mm, that would be fucking crazy. That would yeah, be me, me and Tay Rock got to run it back. Me and Twerk got to run it back. Uh, like I want to run it back with Swamp. 
And Swamp got to run it back. Oh, on, if I'm Swamp, I'm not bad on you. Fuck that. I'm not he said bad on you. Said, Hell no. Nigga, fuck that. Nah, me and Swamp got to run that back, man. Me and Swamp. Uh, hey, Terrence Jones was feeling some type of way like he got cheated. Nigga, we could run it back, bro. I'll smoke the dog shit out you, fool. Like, come on, man. The whole culture know it. The culture don't even want that. But since you feeling some type of way, hey, man, uh, we can run it back, gang. We can run it back. Right. Um, You and Gotti, man. I want a two-part question, man. Um, When you guys are... i never seen a battle with two niggas or homies, and y'all gave us a classic the way y'all did, though. Like, were you expecting that to give us a classic? Because sometimes y'all could be boys, and you might not say certain things. You might hold back on certain things. And you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, man, I knew that was gonna be a classic, man. I ain't gonna lie, I knew that was gonna be it. even the first one. I knew the first one was gonna be first crazy. One, and if we would have got on that stage in and if we would have really got on that stage in London, that first mm. one would have been probably better than the second one. I ain't gonna lie. But uh um no nah, man, it ain't it, it it's no hose bars, you know. We we of course we ain't gonna get in there and get personal and shit, but you know, that's my brother. He know he know I ain't no I ain't no pushover. I know he ain't no pushover, so we gonna go in there and really Treat each other like who we know we are. You feel me? Like I know that's a killer. I'm not gonna go in there and play with no killer. Are you done with tournaments? Nah, I'm. I'm not. I'm not done with tournaments. Hey, the, the bag gotta raise up. I'm not gonna compete for my pay. I'm not gonna get. Right. Yeah, I'm not gonna get to compete for my pay. But uh, yeah, if the bag is right, hell yeah. Yeah, they mm. put a million. They put a million dollars in the tournament. Can't nobody on earth beat me. I'm say that right now. Where, where Can't nobody on earth beat me. Where do you rank you and Ab? And you for your for your describing for your battles. Where do you put your Ab at? Oh, like is is, is you talking about is my the battles or game. just battles in general? Like, so you and Ab, where do you put that battle for you in the pecking order of your um resume? Oh, okay. Um, man, that's top three. It might be shit. It might be yeah. It might be one. I ain't gonna lie. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that was that was crazy. You and you and Award. That was one of the best battles I felt that year and stuff like that. I thought I was right. Yeah. That was one of the best battles and stuff like that. that. Hey, that's one of my top five battles. Uh, at least my top five performances for me. I love my performance in that battle because mm -hmm. uh, uh, I was motivated for Ward. You know what I'm saying? I was motivated. The, the fans kind of pissed me off a little bit. They, hey man, don't don't play with this white boy. Don't sleep with this white boy. I'm like, bro, who is y'all talking to? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all right, bet. Yes, I ain't gonna lie, that shit kind of had me mad. Like, what? Y'all keep, and it was like people that I know was like, hey man, you, I know you're gonna get him, but don't sleep on him, bro. What? So, yeah, I had to, I had to turn up, man. Like, my own homie was damn near scared for me. Do you take daylight serious when he said y'all gonna battle? Because I know you lace up, but it's, it's really on him. You take it serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we don't know when because you know, daylight be trolling and shit, but yeah, that has to happen. If, yeah, I feel like he doesn't solidify nothing for me. I don't solidify nothing for him. But it's just in game. We in game. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's just, it's, yeah. If you if you want to say you 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 a dog like you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to see the dogs. Absolutely. You see the Are you the volume king? Damn, man, that's a good question. I feel like I missed a lot of volumes, though. But to keep it real, I feel like I'm one of the reasons the volumes are what they are. So if I'm not, I'm close to it. Mm. You feel me? When, when you got the call for, for Iron Solomon, two-part question. How did you feel when you got the call? And when the culture acted like they wasn't happy about the about the battle when it was announced, that after, afterwards, aftermath, oh, my God, Nitty Iron Solomon was a classic. One of the best right, man. <laughs> I kind of was... I kind of felt like the culture. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, man, Iron Solomon. Ah, man. And then I, I'm not gonna lie. I low key slept on Iron Solomon, but the the battle still came out good. But like in my mind, I was like, I'm just gonna write anything for this white boy. No, 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 no diss to you. You know what I'm saying? But I was just like, I'm just gonna write anything, man. Get him about it here real quick. So when he started rapping, I'm like, God damn, this thing is kind of cold. Like in my mind, I had the Mook return when he battled Mook. Okay, he came okay. Back. So I'm like, man, he, um, yeah, he, he ain't got nothing he can say to me. But so he better like, disaster, disaster, disaster be magic, I think, after that, though. Yeah, but it wasn't on URL. Okay. So okay. I, I was kind of using the URL style of, you know what I'm saying, because 
because people do change their style when they get to that URL stage a little bit. A lot of people do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So in my mind, I'm like, he's gonna try to do this and try to. And I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get him up out of here real quick. Yeah, mm-hmm. hell no. Nah. That was a classic. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Absolutely, absolutely. Having the best record on a URL app. How you feel about that? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, man. Uh, at first, I didn't really care. Mm. But seeing, seeing how the fans were kind of putting me on the pedestal and shit for it, now that you know, now I, I kind of um, it's personal now. You feel me? That's why I, uh, um, I put up the post the other day when I'm like, "Yo, what's up with my record?" My shit was like seventeen, and I don't know, it was crazy. I had like seventeen L's. Uh, I'm like, nah, this is yeah, this is crazy. This is crazy. Nah. Has, has your fan base turned into? Has your stardom got it to now the point where your your fans can be obnoxious? Nitty, you gotta your fan base is fucking my nigga. You cannot say nothing bad about you, nigga. You understand that, right? Like nigga will come for your yeah, head. Man, I ain't gonna lie, I got some of the best fans in the world, bro. I'm not gonna lie. If not the best fans in the world, I ain't gonna lie. Like a motherfucker that say something. And I'll be, I'm trying, I'm trying to go say something crazy back. By the time I can get to him, you ain't gotta say yeah. nothing, bro. You ain't gotta yeah. say nothing. Somebody on him already. With somebody on him already. Nigga, woo, 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 woo. And saying some real shit that I would have said. I'm like, hey. damn. All right. All right. Hey. And they know me too. Yeah, then they got four kids. He ain't worried about none of that shit. He's trying to get his bag, nigga. What the fuck? I'm like, hey, man, get on him, bro. Get on him, man. Oh, man. Yeah, man. I, I love my fans, bro. I love my fans. When people try to call you on one dimensional, do you get offended by that? When Mook was trying to, when Mook was trying to um, carve what you, your style and everything like that, does that bother you at all? Or do you laugh? Nah, man, nah, man I laugh at that shit. Because the real ones know I'm not. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? The real ones know. The, the ones that can listen. The ones that aren't overwhelmed by the punches. But listen, there's some other shit in there. There's some other shit in there. Mm-hmm. It's always is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And even if it ain't, motherfucker, I made it this far. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. What, what, what I told Il Mac, what he gonna say? All I do is punching, no angling. But what he gonna f- uh, uh, fail to mention is I'm the most dangerous. You gonna forget that part? You gonna you go, all you do is this, all you do is that, all you do is that. But you gonna forget to say that I'm the most dangerous. Facts, facts, man. But whatever I'm doing is working. I want to read you some, some stats here since um, Champion of the Year has been installed. So you've been top five in 2017. 2019, 2021, and obviously you won champion of the year last year. Like, those stats are kind of like, it's almost at a point like, you're going to be top three every year, maybe, if you don't win, you're top three every year, basically. That's just how it looks. Or top yeah, five. that's crazy. You I'm not going to lie, that's crazy. Because I wasn't even really paying attention to the numbers until somebody pointed that out to me. They was like, yo, you always top 10 with you up in the, I'm like, yeah, I didn't even notice that. You know, nigga like me, I put my feet to the ground, I work, and I really don't pay attention to none of that until it's time to, you know, at the end of the year, I'll go look at it. You know what I'm saying? But mm. none of that should be on my mind. I'm my feet on the ground and I'm working. Couple more questions here. What do you remember about the Danny Myers battle, King of the Dot? Man, I feel like that that's the one that kind of put me on, put both of us on. That yeah. was supposed to be um ground zero. And yeah, I don't know if a lot of fans remember ground zero was like kind of like proving grounds back in the day. So okay. they had two different channels. They released mm-hmm. battles on Ground Zero and then the main channel. So that battle was supposed to get released on Ground Zero. It was on a Ground Zero card. And the, the battle came out so good, they released it on their main channel. And we kind of blew up from there. You know what I'm saying? I remember Organic hit me. He was like, nah, we're we, we releasing this on a big channel. <laughs> Hell nah. This is, you know what I'm saying? This is a classic. They said we yeah. had the best battle that weekend. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. That was a turn up uh, a moment for me and bro. Yeah, and I remember, I remember probably like two years, a year after that, just seeing that me and bro was still both thriving, going crazy, still getting booked, yeah. still you know what I'm saying, name getting bigger, and getting bigger. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, that's it was dope to see. It was dope to see that we was both and we both still here. Mm-hmm. That was dope as fuck to see. Are you looking for a manager? Are you looking for a manager still? No, oh, I solidified it. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, yeah, man. Shout out to my nigga Pop, man. Okay. Okay. Talk to me about your music, Liddy. Uh oh uh, yeah, man. I just dropped the tape right now. Matter of fact, uh what's understood it's out on all streaming platforms. I put a lot into this tape, I'm not gonna lie. Um in the light song, rap beef. I, I you know, yeah. Um uh the 743 was on there, but it, I released it early, so 
it's mm -hmm. on a whole different account, so they wouldn't let me release it on both. So, but uh, yeah, um, I feel like it's a, it's a dope project. It has, you know, got the love songs, got the, you know, the street shit, mm -hmm. got the, you know, the, the gangster shit, you know. I feel like the fans might be surprised, you know, to hear that there's, there's actual music coming out this motherfucker besides surf, you feel me? It's free surf. It's free, you know, surf got that shit. DC got that shit. Yes. Uh, 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 twerk got that shit. You feel me? Chess got Trufo that shit. Two four two, two four got that shit. Ryder got that shit. You feel me? Mm -hmm. It's 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 uh, T top got that shit. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, motherfucking uh, Swamp got that shit. Av, yeah, Av. You feel me? It's a, it's a lot of fire music. Of you feel me for real? Niggas need to tap in. But like, yeah, man, y'all hit that. Y'all um, y'all gonna put the link up? Y'all hit that motherfucking link, man. Absolutely, absolutely. What's understood on all streaming platforms, I feel like it's one of my best projects. If y'all like the '86, y'all gonna love this. If y'all mm. like the '86, y'all gonna love this for real. Are you are you surprised that music? Are you understanding it because you're very popular in battle rap that is gonna force people to listen to your music because you're so dominant in battle rap? Uh, ask that question again. Because you're so dominant in battle rap, do you feel your fans? It forces your fans to listen to your music because you make good music and you're so dominant. And battle rap that they want to tap in to everything you got going on, right? Um, I feel like a lot of battle battle rappers need to learn how to take the, uh, take advantage of that. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, you got an eyes on you, you got a face card. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We could be making a lot of a lot of money outside of these battles. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm on right now. I'm just you know I'm testing the waters. I ain't gonna lie. I've always wanted to make music outside of battle rap. I've been an artist. You know what I'm saying? Damn near my whole life. You feel me? But I never really just tuck it serious and put out, you know what I'm saying, what I know I can put out, you feel me? So right now, I I'm going uh, to do the rap game like I did the battle rap game. Mm. You know what mm. I'm saying? I feel like, and this ain't no easy culture to 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 conquer. Battle rap not sweet. It's right. not no easy culture to conquer. So I feel like if I can be what I am in battle rap, I can do the same in music. You know Absolutely. I mean? so that's, that's my goal right now. Was it Was it music first? Always, yeah. right? It was always music. It was always music. And he tapped into battle rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Music? Um, yeah. Um, like, like I said, I really just wanted to do the battles to get my name out there, mm. so I could continue doing music. But battle rap grew to heights that we didn't know it was going to grow to. Pause. You feel me? Didn't no, didn't nobody, nobody think battle rap is going to be this. You know what I'm saying? Nobody thought. Mm. It's like you know, battle rap is just a little. You know what I'm saying? One little stop, and then I'm out. Hell nah. It it became something else. Mm. Are you doing? Are you doing shows? Up. What happened? Are you doing shows at the crib? Like music shows? Yeah. Yeah. Every once in a while, seldomly. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to get back on to really pushing my music. Mm. Are you surprised that all you brothers that do battle rap have not made a one take together? All of y'all, you and man, I've been said that. I've been trying to push that for a few years. Like, man, if we all put our our fan bases together, our powers together, man. We could do some numbers. We could do some crazy shit. You feel me? I've been saying we need to do that. Mm. Oh, you and Geechee. So, hey, man, this is the invitation right now, man. What's up with everybody? Rock, twerk, <laughs> free surf. When you come home, everybody, we'll, let's put this music together, man. Drop mm. it on uh, Distro Kid and get these get these checks, man. Easy. Mm. The right. fans, gonna, they're going to fuck with it. Absolutely, man. Nitty, um, I appreciate you taking your time to rock with me, brother. Let me tell you something, man. Keep going, brother. You are phenomenal. You are a dope MC. You are a breath of fresh air when it comes to battle rap, my brother. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, bro. I think my God, man. Shout out to Rum Nitty, man. I don't know the fucking vibes already.